what up guys record press play here we're gonna check out the waldorf mini works four pole filter today it's a filter from the mid 90s that gets a lot of its popularity from its use on the daft punk album homework if you're not familiar with that take a listen to revolution 909 or around the world you'll hear a lot of cool heavy filtering that kind of bring some of those tracks to life so for the demo i'm just going to do the three different sources i'll play the clean signal and then i'll let you hear it processed through the unit itself very clean just line out line back in so that all you're hearing is the units effect nothing else no other colorations and then i'll run through a couple of the sounds that you can mod it with uh, not this isn't a deep dive but it should give you just a couple ideas of what you can do with it so here's the first sample we're going to listen to clean unprocessed <laughs> All right, now let's give it a listen through the unit. If you look on the unit, you'll see, if you look on the unit, you'll see that it's peaking in the red mostly. You'll see a little bit of green. It's, that means it's just barely going over, you know, the threshold for distortion. I think that's the sweet spot. But I'll give you an idea of what it sounds like super push. So let me bring the volume back up and push it. Cool for some distortion, aggressive tracks. Now this uh, unit the resonance character trait, it, if you roll it up, it will take some low out. Hear that low being cut? It's back in. As I roll the resonance, more lows out would come out than you would think. It'll self oscillate if you drive the resonance too much. Right, but I'm rolling it back. I'm gonna roll it back to where I like the sweet spot where it's just barely kissing this red. All right, let me give you the other sound sources just so you can get a feel for what those sound like. One thing to note with this unit is the knobs are a little finicky because they're digital. And so it's, I guess it's reading uh, to 127 for MIDI but sometimes when you turn these it won't grab and go to the full range so you kind of gotta wiggle it back and then wiggle it all the way back around to get it to go full range that's just something to be aware of if you have one of these or are gonna get one all right so here's a bass riff with just some keys let's do it clean first give you a proper comparison All right, now let's process it. I'll drive this. roll it back to where it's not quite so distorted. When it's less distorted, you're gonna hear just a little bit more air in there. Now, I wanted to show you what some of the things can do with the modulation sources on this track, for example, we've got 
our basic controls on the bottom, cutoff, resonance, volume, panning. So you can you can have it go mono out, but it's really cool to just do stereo. So right now it's set just straight down the middle, but if you hear, so I can control that. See, look what it's doing. It's it's. I turn that all the way left. It should not be at 35. It should be at 63. I have to do it faster to get it all the way down there. But I'm gonna send an LFO to this pan to do some stuff. So, to, in order to do that, you have to hold shift. Press this blue button, go down to the one just above where your sources are. So it says cutoff mod, res mod, volume mod. We want pan mod. So let's hold shift and we will turn this till we get to S01. Okay. And if you're curious, you've got all your modulation sources right there. For reference which is pretty easy if you forget it it says LFO, LFO number one so now now that we've let go of shift we can control the amount and you can use inverse is negative or just the positive so let's do positive and the speed is obviously pretty crazy right now so we go to this setting go over to speed And then it's got a speed mod, so the further you have that up, the more it modulates even further, kind of irregular, irregularly. So I'm going to roll that mod down. And basically, if you look, anything in orange is controlled by shift. Pretty self-explanatory because shift is in orange itself. So if we want to change the shape, hold shift and turn that. Right now I think it's a sign. I think that's square. The second one saw. But you can adjust and if you let go you're adjusting speed. And the more you turn it up on the mod source, the more the wider it will go. So if we want, if if you feel like that's too wide, just bring it down to like 30. And now it's more kind of in the middle. So that's kind of what you can do with a pan mod. You can do the LFO to anything, any source. Cut off resonance volume. Um, let me give you one more sample. This is just a kind of a high synth by itself. Uh, this is what it sounds like: clean, unprocessed. Let's run it. Let's turn that mod source off. So down to zero, it's not panning anymore. drive it all right one of the other features I wanted to showcase was the ability to send an audio signal in 
So I've got this kick going. This is what just standard kick. So I've got that being sent to the unit. And in order to control that, you've got the trigger in. So if that's all the way up, then you can choose to modulate a source via an audio signal. So I'll I'll send that signal right now to the cutoff frequency. And we do that by holding shift. If our, we got to select our mod sources, hold shift. And if you look on our reference, it's number seven for audio. So we go up to seven. And now if you adjust the amount, it's all the way up. should hear that it's modding it based on every quarter note. So you can obviously change that. It's kind of a weird um that's probably not the best. Let's do it with the full loop. So we can do all sorts of crazy rhythms. It's right now actually had it set to not be on the two. It's off beat, so it's creating a cool polyrhythm. So yeah, your ear can't quite grab what's going on, but it's vibing it out real nicely. So. So yeah, you can create any rhythm you want, sending that out. You can also do it via MIDI too, but Audio Source makes it cool because if you have an outboard synth or really anything, even voice. It's also as breath control. You could mod it via breath control. So uh, there's only one other thing I wanted to showcase, and that, that's the ability to do a uh, voltage controlled filter or um, amplitude via triggers. But it has a manual trigger control, which makes it cool to use for live performances or live recording to get rather than you know programming everything in can be feel a little stagnant this can give you more of a live feel so if i i'll turn that trigger back off so it stops by rolling that back so now we don't have that anymore but our trigger will trigger the voltage controlled filter it'll open and close based on our ADSR. So let's let's see where it's at. So when I press it, it's going you can hear it's doing a slow attack and the release is pretty much instant. So it's up and then down. When I release when I let go of it, it it just cuts off. Let's pull that release back. So in order to get there, we have to press our blue button, go up top and you'll see attack, decay, sustain, release, which is controlled with our knobs. So release is here. We want that to open and we want that to close later than it was. So let's press it. Still not that fast, but it's faster than it was. Let's bring it even up even more. All right, bring even up more. Now it's real slow, almost too slow. So let's, so you could set this, you know, basically to your, the tempo of your song to where it opens and then it closes back by the time the beat starts again.
Now let's say we want that attack. It's we don't want it to be so slow. Let's make it fast. Slow the release. And then all of a sudden we can play it. And so you can modulate that on the fly, kind of how you would a 909, 808, to make it sound a little more humanized. You can do this while you're playing, say, a sequenced synth being run through it could be a cool effect you know to play and adjust the either the attack or the release so that's basically uh that was the final feature that i kind of wanted to showcase i don't really have my head fully wrapped around all the features but that those are the basic features i hope you enjoyed it